What's up guys? So, I'm here today with my lovely assistant, Adam Wilson. And we're gonna show you guys a simple takedown that you can use. So, I got a message from uh, my blog the other day, and a guy asked, he's a white belt, and he said he never wrestled before, but he needs some takedown. He's getting ready for a jiu-jitsu competition coming up in a couple weeks. He's never wrestled before, so he wants some, something that he can do. He said he can pull guard, but he wants just some takedown that he can use at some point. So I'm gonna show you guys a takedown that I showed a lot of my students who haven't wrestled before, that they have a lot of success with early on, especially in the gi. Now, you know, again, if you do have a wrestling class available to you in your gym or some judo classes or anything, even takedown classes, take advantage of those. But, you know, again, for him, he, he doesn't really have a whole lot of time. He has about two weeks. So I'm gonna give you a really simple takedown that you can use pretty much immediately right off the bat with just a little bit of drilling. So, all right, so we're in our stance. And again, basic stances, guys. Again, we're a little bit lower, that kind of thing. Um, what we're gonna do, so the most typical gripping that you're gonna see is basically straight up here, right? This is the most common. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, and guys, if you don't grip fight, it's something you really need to invest some time in, being able to really aggressively go after those grips. So we're here in our stance, okay? We're gonna first reach out, so I want, I want to get a cross collar on this grip here, but first I'm gonna reach out straight. And the reason that I do this is a lot of times, if I reach out here, he's gonna deflect the hand down, pull it, grip it, whatever, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out first with this hand. So even if I, like I go for this collar, even if he grips it, pulls it down, I can still open, turn here, I can still open this lapel up a little bit, right? Now we're gonna shoot in. So it's one, two, okay? And we're getting a deep cross collar. As deep as you can get it up there because the deeper it is, the more we can manipulate the neck. Now this hand, okay? So one, two, a lot of times your hands are gonna be up here, we're gonna be gripping, it's gonna come down, and we're gonna get some grip on the sleeve. Most common is gonna be thumb in, four fingers, thumb out. Okay? Let's turn this direction here. Now, this is, uh, you know, a, a, we call it a knee pick. Okay, so it's similar, you know, if you've done a, a, an ankle pick in wrestling right here, down here, similar to that, but we're not gonna drop all the way down, because again, if you've never wrestled before, that dropping motion is not gonna be uh, feel very comfortable to you. So, we're here. Now, we need to break this guy's posture because he's here, he's probably going to be facing you right here, right? Nice and tight. We're going to snap him down. And so think about if you've, uh, if you've ever made your bed, fold out some laundry, open it up right here, okay? Ready? I'm going to snap down. Again, two, three times, whatever you want, but it's going to be quick snaps. One, two, three. And what we're looking for is this. We're looking for that back to bone. Now, if that happens in the first one, go for the knee pick then. But a lot of times it takes a couple before you kind of get them broken down, okay? So we're here, again, one, two, three, snap, snap. And as soon as you break the posture, also keep in mind a, a kind of little side note here, look where I'm keeping the wrist. I'm keeping it right here in front of the leg, so as soon as I break this posture, it's a quick switch, okay? And this is similar to the ankle pick, where we would grab the collar and keep the hand close so that that ankle's close by, right? From here, grab the knee, and drive, and as you drive, you're gonna push the knee in and push the collar out, boom. And the idea is that as soon as we pass, we're passing, or as soon as we take the guy down, we're getting the guard pass, instead of taking him down, going inside of his guard, which really isn't a good position for me. So again, we're in our stance here, keeping our hands in, one, two, three, snap, snap. One time, So again, guys, get into a habit of punching your grips out. Not super softly. One, two, three. Snap down, snap down, step, push, and get your guard pass. So, to the reader, I'll send this to you. You can check it out. Hope this helps you with your competition coming up. And again, if you're like a white belt or someone that just doesn't have a whole lot of wrestling or takedown ability, this is a pretty easy takedown just to have in your arsenal in case you need it. I'm done. Adam? Approves. Oh, it's different. Thank you. It's been a long journey, a long road, filled with potholes and obstacles. I've fallen so many times. It forged character though and growth.